please. Where else is over? Listen, Jean Pierre, Jean Pierre, one yeah. moment, one moment. Don't stop, don't stop. Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. Now, Bravo. you know, I want to profit after the rehearsal of Hoffman at the Salzburg Festival with Jimmy and Jean Pierre. I want to take advantage that the camera is here because I want to make a bet with you both. Is it about Hoffman? Or? No, not Hoffman. <laughs> Listen, listen to me, Jimmy. It's very interesting. Do you know which one is the city around the world that has inspired more composers to write more operas? Rome. Rome. Well, I'm thinking about all the repertory about the opera area. Uh, Jules Caesar by Handel, Clemenza di Tito by Mozart, and also, for example, Puccini, Tosca, Tannhäuser, between the act. Uh, Good. What about Paris, Plastic? Paris has so many favorites. Yeah. Opus Bohème, uh, Verdi Traviata, Puccini Manolesco, Massene Mano, uh, Puccini Tabarro. Good. But still is another one. Moscow. <laughs> <laughs> Sevilla. Of course, you know something that we cannot do all this program talking about Sevilla and forget about the most important opera representing Sevilla, the Bible of Sevilla. Absolutely, Plasi, we have to have it. But Figaro you know, is the most important, most important male character ever from the, from the operas in Spain. But you know, I sang the, the Count of Almaviva, I, I sang only one performance in my life, and uh, I would love to do something, but no the arias. I think it would be f better if I do the duet. And we invite a baritone, we look, you know, no, 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 wait a minute, which wait of my colleagues, and he sing the figure. But you sang, you, you sang earlier on the Don Giovanni aria, and that's even lower. This is for high baritone. I mean, if you sang the Don Giovanni, you can surely sing Figaro. And it's such an interesting personality. It's a character for him. Absolutely. Yeah, that's right. You can see Figaro. But then, then we invite a light tenor, We'd better so then I can do the baritone, and he's singing the Almaviva, the Figaro. No? Why not? I mean, you're, nowadays you sing Otello in very heavy tenor parts. I'm sure the tenor part is too light for you. So what to do? Hey, wait a moment. I will do both parts. You can no. sing both parts? I can sing both parts. Well, that would be fabulous for you. Know, fabulous for you, but how for me? Because I'm sorry, it's a technical problem. To do a duet with the same main actor? Listen, Jean-Pierre, I sing both parts. You're a genius director. That's your problem. This project was fantastic fun for all of us from the very beginning, for many reasons. I think not only do all three of us enjoy working in many styles and enjoy having a variety of challenges, but we all became fascinated with Placido's original idea, with the fact that Spain and Sevilla, Seville, has fascinated so many composers, including even the greatest geniuses. Wagner imagined a Spanish location for Parsifal, which is incredible, I mean, a mythical Spain. And Verdi used Spanish locations very frequently, as did Mozart, as you saw in Don Giovanni. And in this aria from Forza del Destino, Placido has a chance to play a real Spanish protagonist, the one opportunity in the whole Verdi repertoire to play a really large-scale tragic hero. The piece then we have next is not a zarzuela. Spain has just few operas, but this is one of them. It's a beautiful opera by Maestro Penella. And um, we have a situation similar, like Carmen, but the other way around. So this time I am the toreador, I am the torero. Uh, and the baritone is the outlaw man. It will be the equivalent of Don Jose. And uh, we are both, of course, fighting for the same girl. And uh, in this very moment, we can see the torero in the most important moment. He's just 
before the corrida praying in the chapel of the arena. As you can see now, there are different images, there are different virgins, because every torero brings something to the capilla. This is Soledad, the soprano involved. Uh, now you will see the patrona of the Matador. Here it is, La Virgen de la Macarena and the pray, Oración del Torero, which everybody says before going to fight the bull. This is a very solemn moment because the Toreros, they have a very good reason to be afraid. We all have a moment of thinking before a performance, and I can imagine how they feel just before going to fight the bull. Now we are doing the first rehearsal there, and you can see the images in the TV set, and you can see now Jean-Pierre Ponel, the director, checking that everything is in order. This duet that you are going to hear now has become so famous that you cannot go to any corrida without hearing the music of Paso Doble from El Gato Montes. The love duet that you are hearing is a very short and brief moment. Soledad is coming to see Rafael. He tells her just to help him to do the, his tie before going. And uh, they are trying to be very light because, of course, he has to go out and fight six bulls that afternoon. Here we see Jean-Pierre giving us more instructions. It was very emotional to be able to do this segment of the program in the most famous arena, La Plaza de Sevilla, La Maestranza de Sevilla, together with La Plaza de las Ventas in Madrid. There are the two arenas of tradition, and for every matador, it should be like for an opera singer being able to sing a La Scala or the Metropolitan or Vienna, Covent Garden, etc. So, I see you too long time ago. So, come with me, okay? So, I'm going to go to the end of the day.